Hi, Russell Stratton, Leadership Champion at Blue Gem Learning, working with companies like yours to transform average bosses into great leaders. So with the theme of leadership in mind, I wanted to focus on um, some work that was done by Colin Powell on his 18 lessons in leadership. Now for those of you that don't remember, Colin Powell was former Chief of Staff of the United States Military uh, and was also part of the George W. Bush administration. And one of the things that Colin Powell had done in one of his uh, sort of post-military uh, life a series of lectures was to drill down really into the essence from his experience of what were the lessons that he'd had from his career in the military of what makes a great leader and what helps that leader be really effective um, in managing the people that they're working with. So he comes up with 18 lessons. I've picked three of those that I think that were particularly resonated with me that I wanted to share with you today. So one of the first ones he talks about is that you can't be a leader without ticking some people off. Now he doesn't use the word ticking, he uses a little bit more robust language from his military background, but you get the gist of it. The basic idea was, is that when you're in a leadership position, sometimes you're going to be asked to make decisions, operational, perhaps they're on a personnel level, which aren't going to be popular with the people that are working for you. And the reality is, is that you're not there to be people's friend. Yes, you want to be um, engaged with your workforce, you want people um, to get on with you, hopefully they like you, but ultimately it's not there being best buddies. You're not going on a golfing holiday with them. There will be times when you have to make hard decisions that aren't always going to be popular with everybody. And as I say to leaders that I work with, expect that at any moment in time there's one person in your team um, who doesn't particularly like you at that moment because of a decision that you've had to make. But that comes with the territory of being a leader. One of the other points uh, that Powell made that uh, resonated with me was the thought that, as he puts it, when soldiers stop coming to you with their problems, then you as the leader have a problem. So if we substitute in there the word soldier for employee or staff member, it still makes sense to us here in the business world. If people in your team don't feel that they can come to you with issues that they have that are work related or perhaps it's something happening for them outside of work and feel that they can talk to you, then you have an issue. Because if they're not talking to you, who are they talking to? Perhaps it's their colleagues, perhaps it's somebody outside of work, but they obviously don't feel that they can come to you as their leader and actually have that conversation. So there's a piece in there about making sure that we have that uh, personability, we have that um, openness, empathy, and you know, genuineness about us, that people feel that they can come and talk to us about what's worrying them, and that we can help them in finding a solution. And the third thing that resonates with me from Powell's 18 Lessons in Leadership is the one where I'll paraphrase him that what we should do is look to uh, delegate responsibility for decision making as close to the front line as possible and not try and second guess people for, as he calls it, a rear echelon position. So if we think about what that means in business terms, what he's saying is if we can delegate responsibility to the people who are actually doing the job on the front line in the business, whether this is customer facing, or they're at the job site, or they're the person that's actually on the production line, rather than necessarily trying to second guess them with um, information from head office. That not only being days or weeks or months after the event. So let's try and push that down to people on the front line, get them to make decisions in the here and now about what they can and can't do. And I'll give you a quick example. Southwest Airlines in the US have this where they delegate responsibility to their customer service representatives. If a customer comes up and has a problem, the delegated authority is that individual customer service representative who can actually make the decision to resolve um, that problem for the customer in the best way possible, up to a certain monetary value, without having to refer to one of their superiors. 
Think how empowering that can be for your team if people can actually make decisions about the job that they know best, rather than having to refer it up the train uh, to head office to get sign off on something. So I'd like to hear your comments on those thoughts of uh, uh, Colin Powell, three of his uh, lessons in leadership. Uh, feel free to comment on the uh, box below. Share this content with others. Any comments that you do make, I respond to personally. If you're interested in reading more about uh, Powell's work, then feel free to come on to our um, website at bluegenlearning.com because there's a fuller article on the blog that covers all 18 of his lessons. And if you're interested in me working with your team to see how we can improve leadership skills in your organisation, then get in touch.